Crohn's disease, colitis, do not eat raw food. Well, I can't tell you the number of people who have eaten raw food in a properly prepared way that have reversed these disorders. I don't know anyone who has the ability to stick to this and follow through and endure all of that nonsense out there in the media and in healthcare that doesn't have the ability to reverse these disorders. Now, you may not go to the same table that I am and chew the same roughage food. At first, we may have to juice it. We use specific types of supplementation. We target certain kinds of food. And even though blending kills much of the nutrition, we blend food and we remove the roughage in very severe cases. You avoid all small seeds. Why? If you have pockets of infection, you don't want to put a seed in there, organic or not because that could create further inflammation. But this is something we've worked with for six decades, and we can assure you, if you have the courage to do what it takes, and you come here to Hippocrates, we'll help you reverse these disorders. Don't listen to the naysayers who tell you that you need medicine for the rest of your life, or that you need part of your colon removed, and that's the first choice. There are those horrible circumstances where that's required, but that's the last choice, not the first choice. We also know that people can reverse all of these concerns in almost every single circumstance. Thank goodness the world of healthcare is catching up with Hippocrates Health Institute. Our founder, Ann Wigmore, back in 1950s, had a mantra. If you alkalize the bloodstream, it helps to prevent all illness. She was right. Since then, many great researchers have done a lot of due diligence and shown us how true that is. Your body requires approximately 80% alkalinity and 20% acidity, which is a natural plant-based foods without you thinking about it or becoming a chemist. You don't have to worry about what you take or what you don't take. Eating right long enough is going to allow the body to come to a homeostasis, as we call it, a balance where everything is exactly what we said. One of the concerns I have is some of the quote authorities today on alkalinity and acidity have fear tactics, I guess. They tell you that if you're acid, you're going to die. If your alkalinity is not exactly at seven, it's horrible. Well, these are not only untruths, but complete misunderstandings of alkalinity and acidity. About 30 years ago, I started to look at this in a very deep way and spent about three to four years of my life doing litmus paper and blood test on probably about 20,000 people who had been going through a lifestyle change. I found that the average person took between two and three and a half to four years to balance alkalinity and acidity to the normal levels. Why? Think about how you built your body before with unfortunate things that you called food that should never have been consumed by you. Our bodies became quite acid. It doesn't take a day or a week or a quick change in diet or a supplement that's very expensive to change that. It takes consistency, day by day, proper lifestyle, proper hydration, proper movement and exercise. You will then find yourself hovering around seven, and if you have six and a half all the time, guess what? After several years, that's what you require. And if you have a little too high acid, don't worry about it. When we're sick, what we do find, and we've tested God knows how many tens of thousands of people who are sick, we find that people are acid. But it's not our solo objective to just get you alkaline. You could still be very sick with my body if you were affected by nuclear radiation or emotional concerns. Don't think it's as easy as alkalinity and acidity, but it is a very big assistance to be alkaline eating a proper plant-based diet.